Hello everybody and welcome back to Simon Plays. I'm Simon. Today we're playing more Resident Evil. Now, this has nothing to do with the game we're currently playing, but today is one day before Callisto Protocol releases. And I can't explain to you how hyped I am. I can't wait. Enectoxin destroy any subject. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to re read this. You can try if you want. That's machine gun ammo. But I don't have a machine gun yet. have to take the elevator down or what's left of the elevator <laughs> or maybe up not down who am I to judge yeah we can't go down Damn it. Stop it, Evelyn. Oh, fucking hallucinations. Where is she? There's a huge ass mosquito on my screen. Give me a second, guys. What the hell is this? Where did it go? Oh, I see you. That's a dead mosquito now. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I don't like mosquitoes. It's a thing, I'm a weird guy, I don't like mosquitoes. I do like mosquitoes. Jesus Christ. Another imaginary friends. Okay, that's a lot of supplies and that's a lot of doors and I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. I guess, if I know anything about ships, this leads to the same place the other door out of that room leads to. And I know nothing about ships. But yeah, what do you know? I was right. Cabin. Map. A lag range. I don't know what a lag is. Can I use this? No. It's a weapon in here. I need the weapon. Where is the key? I guess I have to have find the captain's dead body. Yes. 
So I can open this, but I don't think. Well, I'll open it since I can, but. I don't think falling here would work, though I think this can be used to open the hatch. But before we do that, we'll try and get the weapon. Oh, that's the other side of that door. Okay, I see, I see. I see. There's also, yeah, I heard it, I heard it, but I'm not gonna use a bomb for it. Maybe we'll come back later. And hit it. So, there's no way to currently get to this weapon. I guess not. I guess not. So let's try jumping down, see what happens. Okay. This is a superhero or something. Doesn't know what falling damage is. What? I heard that. Cable is completely fried. We had The cable is completely fried. We had a replacement. We had to use it to fix something in the third floor sick bay. You're gonna have to ask Dr. Waddell. I made it down in the number two engine room, but I can't get down there unless we get this thing working. So we need like a fuse and a cable. Wait, it says third floor sick bay. Got my knife. So you better be ready. This is exactly the same thing we read during the tape. Flashback, whatever you want to call it, I don't want to say it. Uh, that gun. I have some remote phone, so if need be, I can handle him. This is huge. <coughs> yeah, I wasn't gonna mess around with that. This is a very small area for me to try to juke this guy and we have no weapons we have a lot of bullets but I don't think throwing them at the enemy is gonna work I can't use corrosive on it. Doesn't prompt me to do so. What? I do not remember this at all. What? 
Okay. I think last time I was here, I was pretty much in a hurry to go through this. So I haven't really paid attention to all this stuff. Now we're out of ammo though, for real geez. We have nothing. 16 years since the nightmare of Raccoon City, the survivors are still suffering. This game is as much about Raccoon City as any Resident Evil media released in the last 10 years. In, the, in that new Netflix show, there is a new Raccoon City, but not actual Raccoon City. Oh. oh, we're gonna get ourselves a weapon. So, uh, I guess before we do anything else, we should go get the weapon, right? This is where I came from, yes, yes. I wanna see where this lives though. Is this door was locked there there? done this. Do they want me to backtrack? Do they want me to have to walk back to the same place more than once? Which kind of think of it is exactly what backtrack means. Okay, so we need to get into the elevator. For some reason there is a tutorial for it. Then more up. Please don't kill me. Electricity. Man's best friend and foe. I cracked my neck and I'm pretty sure the recording picked it up. Oh no! I'm not wasting one of these on this guy. Is there someone in this room with me? Okay. Now I'll show you who's boss. Uh this is Mia does weird anime sounds when she's hurt, if you catch my drift. I guess we can ignore the guy that's in there. Yeah, we don't need to kill him, since he didn't, didn't come after us anyway. 
I'll just jump down. So, this is third floor, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't there a locked thing on this floor? Oh, okay. On the other side. In the control room. Wait, there's two stuff here? Oh, oh this is okay. Oh wow, an antique coin. I'm pretty sure we missed a lot of coins in the house because we never had enough to buy everything and I'm pretty sure the game intends for to buy everything. Okay, 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 this leads to the sick bay, but I guess won't open it. Won't even try to open it. Okay. Um I think the game just autosaved, which is kinda ominous. Don't get me wrong, this whole place is... Woof. Also... Like, the turn rate of this character is so low. Handgun ammo, we've got no handgun. Oh, this. How's my. Why won't Mia show me her HP? Oh, she can't. She's not wearing a watch. Oh no. I was gonna glitch him, but he glitched me. Gotta be dead round, right? Yeah, yeah. So, what I need to do is swap places here. Because I keep doing it wrong. Come on, for real, Capcom? Three times I have to press A for that cable. Keep. Okay, so I guess that's that door. Let's stop it now. No? Still there's nothing? Oh, that's a weird door because it even appears on the map. Oh, yeah, I opened this one. Oh, no, I opened that one, but. Come on, game, we all know something bad's gonna happen here do the bad thing. Okay. <laughs> so 
So we now have the one thing we need. Oh, I see, I see. So I'll just put the cable here, the other slot, and you know what we're gonna do now. We are going to go this way. We're going to go this way. In here. I still don't get why I'm finding I'm finding handgun ammo. Completely invisible in the darkness, guys. Like, I had no idea he was there. No idea. No idea. How could have I? He's completely invisible in the darkness. Now I know I need to use some space, though. He killed me too easily. I think in Resident Evil 2, if you picked up a uh, collectible and then you died, it was consider considered still picked up or something. Was it Resident Evil 2? What was it? I'm not sure. Uh, okay, can you get your flashlight on now, Mia, please? Oh my god, she actually listened. Uh -huh. Is still alive? Jesus Christ. And there's another one? Come on now, guys, you're kidding me. Yeah, that's a lot of blood, I'll just use it. Machine gun ammo, can I? Nope. And I am almost out. Is there anything in here? Any boxes? Anything in this chair? Louder doors, louder. I know I didn't need to kill him, I just wanted to. This is supposed to be the rec room. Yeah. Lots of recreational activities in here as you can see, like bombs. And balls, bombs and balls. All you need to have fun. Uh, 
Okay, the bank room and the maintenance room. Dear Janet, hey, how's it going? I guess half a year or so will have passed by by the time you get this letter. Life is so boring here, day after day, just the same old sea. Although there is one thing that's different. This time we have some passengers sailing with us, which hardly ever happens. It's a couple with a little gir girl. I think they're distant relatives of the captain. Imagine traveling on a tanker inside of a passenger ship. Traveling on a tanker instead of a passenger ship. They must be hard up. Hard up? What does that even mean? I tried touching the little girl earlier and her dad shot me this nasty look. What's he so worried about? Now that I think about it, the captain said he didn't even have any relatives. Maybe I'm overthinking this. I miss your love, Jim. I like how he assumes it's the captain's relatives. Then he's like, but wait. Are they lying to me? <laughs> Why do I even need to see this? Like there's some stuff in this game you can pick up and examine that makes no sense. No. Amazon River Cruise Guide? Beauty in the Black Lagoon? Like, what's that got to do with anything? And I know you can tell me does it have to do something with anything? Can it just not be there? But then why can't I read absolutely everything? Right? It's too late for us, but at least I can let the world know what happened here. I was on the night shift yesterday, so I was taking a nap in the bank room around noon. I was half asleep and I heard the key, the little girl laughing, or that w or was that all in up in my head? There is no up there. I woke up at 7.30, there was some sort of ruckus in the passageway, Drew, one of the engineers, came in and said there was something going on down below, maybe a riot, he looked pale in the face, he told me he was going to check it out, but he never came back. It must have been around uh, 10 to 8, when I heard this, how do you even say that in English? When I heard the scream, I went to the laundry room to check and saw Clark being eaten by some sort of blackish monster. The monster turned and started coming towards me huge shark-like teeth snapping in the jaw. I just screamed like a little girl and ran for it. Now I'm huddled up in the bunk room, shaking as I write this. There's a whole host of those creatures lurking in the passageways now. I can still hear screams now and then, but there's no way I'm going out there now. And that's it. I believe in everything I know. Giovanni Finetti. Giovanni. Oh, mamma mia. What is uh, happening? Oh no. I don't wanna go there yet. Like, why is this door open? Come on. No doors have been opened in this entire game. Ah, the world's smallest violin. I mean, handgun. Sure, I'll take it. What's it doing? No, we can do some more. Wait, no more save slots. Oh. Does it say it's powerful? Nope. Not at all, it even goes out of its way to say small. I get it. So wait, where haven't we been? Oh, he said he was needed in the engine room, right? That's gotta be. Down, down, down. Because that's usually where the engines are. Oh! The fuse is right over there. Right. I'm the one who put it there. What's that now? In the laundry room? There's possibly a guy in here. 
but I'm ready for him. Okay, 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 okay. Psycho stimulants being helpful for one. Once. down right right go to the bottom level he's waiting I knew what they were doing. I knew all along. I've developed a sixth sense. I know when something is creeping up behind me. Oh no, not this guy again. Yeah, fuck it. I'll just waste some bullets. Just spray him and be safe. So much handgun ammo, but this handgun is completely useless. When you shoot it, it feels like a pea shooter. Worse than a BB gun. didn't try to do me dirty for once. <laughs> Come on. One shot away from killing him. That's just my luck. Why is the game still giving me coins? Why am I gonna get a chance to use them? And why is Mia still... <laughs> doing sounds like that? 
She's not hurt. Son, neither is Marguerite, nor my boy Lucas, or even Zoe here. That girl Evelyn, she did this. What the hell is she? Now, what did she do to you? She infected us with her gift. That's what she calls it. I found her near a busted out tank in the bayou. The bayou. Everything changed after that. So she infects you and then she takes control? No. Not exactly, son. She just... She forces her way into your mind, your soul. You can't fight that. You are connected to her and you can't resist the urge to different person after that. Just like Mia. So Mia sent me that message because of Evelyn. Listen, the, the girl just wants a family of her own. She's the key. Alright? You find her, you stop her. Sad story. Just a nice family. Day of the wait for him. Why? He doesn't love me. I can make him love me. Don't. Don't hurt him. Silly, I told you I'm not gonna hurt him. Don't you think? So what? <laughs> You're not my mom. Remember? I think we're playing, sorry. Oh, come on. Where's my stuff? Okay, you little bitch. Where the fuck are you? It's not clear at all what it says. This is so dark. Like, literally, I can't see shit. It feels like I'm walking towards the last boss, but with no weapons. Or anything else for that matter. It's 
that fish. Is that a helicopter? It's a helicopter. Wait, I'm over here. Please help me. Where are you going, helicopter daddy? Step here, helicopter. Why are you running away? Thank you. I hear... Oh, it's out over there. But I have no weapons yet. February 18, 1892. 1892, there was a collapse in the Patterson mine. Tuan and Bedford are dead and Huxley would never walk on his own again. Old man Stan was right. The ground there is too unstable. February 19, 1892. The company is not going to send us any replacements. They want us to work double shifts. Well, some things never change. I can't wait to get back to the old country. I mean, England? Abercrombie salt mine. <laughs> salt mine? Is this where gamers come from? Are they watching us from the helicopter? What is that logo? Uh, are my items in here? I've taken Mia's things. So, not my items? Oh, my items too. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Right, well, let's fix this inventory. Let's fix this inventory. So I definitely want the shotgun to put this here. And put the shotgun here. We definitely want the grenade launcher. We didn't use it for Jack, so we might as well. This is the powerful one. Uh, yes. Put it here. Put this here. Put this here. So we can take the burner too, of course. Take the handgun ammo. Yes. Yes. Do we need the corrosive? I don't think so. I'll take the remote bombs because you never know. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I have the machine gun too. But no ammo for it, I guess. Oh no, we do have ammo. But wait, maybe not the burner, right? Maybe this. And the machine gun ammo. Then first aid match, then handstand gun ammo. And I think we can create. Okay, I'll tell you what. We're gonna create enhanced handgun ammo and then do it again and not take regular ammo with us. So we'll take another. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This. Oh, it's gun bound. Wait. Oh, yeah, it's in the inventory. We'll make more of this. Put that in. Switch to the end. ammo. We can put that in. Okay, okay. Is there anything else I want? I have free slots, so I might as well take the regular ammo too, right? What's here? Oops, one flag. That's a magnum, but I never found enough coins, right? It needs nine coins. I don't have a nine coins. So, we're quickly gonna shoot that. Oh, I used the good ammo, come on. Yeah, we can take some of the bad ammo too, since we have the slots. 
whatever. Just get weapons. Alpha One, this is Bravo One. Do you read? This is Alpha One. Report. Did you find anything? A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Evelyn? Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. That's just great. Umbrella? We've had reports using the abandoned mine south of the property. I'm gonna go have a look. <laughs> Roger that. We'll meet you at those coordinates. What's he got? If you encounter Evelyn, orders are shoot to kill. Repeat. Shoot to kill. I don't know what's up with Resident Evil and someone acquiring combat data, but I guess Lucas was gathering combat data. <laughs> Whatever that means. So, thank you for joining me this episode. I know. Uh, should we just try to get the last boss in? Okay, this is gonna be a long one, but I guess it's probably the last episode of the series, so. Might as well. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Still alive? Oh, come on. Like that. Wait, there's more? Damn, the shotgun is so good against them. I can't resist using it. Sad. Okay, I guess I'll drop. No, that's enhanced. Okay. Tell you what. Swap phase. And we'll drop. Wait. Oh, they're here. I can do what? Okay, 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 okay. I don't want to do that, but. No choice. You leave me the choice, Lisa. No, that's not right. Oh, wait. I thought it was gonna go up. I was surely mistaken. Come on. Uh, like. Have I told you guys how much I hate these enemies? I think I forgot to tell you. These enemies, I hate. I hate. But now we're gonna go crazy on them.
go this way. I'm starting to think maybe I should have put a cut there. It's taking longer than I thought. Oh no. Like it's impossible to not get hit once by this guy. What do you want me to do? They're fast, they have horrible, horrible hit registration. Bullets go right through them. That's more of them, right? power difference between the shotgun and the handgun is ridiculous which I guess makes sense wait what oh Luke is still around doing his thing. Yeah, all these herbs are nice, but this is not the original Resident Evil 2, so they're kinda worthless on their own. I also need cams. Friday, January 16. Thanks to you guys, it's been about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal and she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one too. Mom and dad are still totally under though. I was wondering, is this whole family obsession something you guys programmed to into here? It's kinda fucked up. Friday, November 4. So this was January 16. This is November 4. That beats me, I stole somewhere in between Evie, La La Land and reality. She gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in a cell. I thought maybe Evelyn would get mad since me as her favorite and all, but she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks me as her mommy, like I said, your bioweapon is fucked up. September 1st, 2016, almost an entire year later. Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more assholes off the street to out her freak show of family. Maybe she's getting tired of me and not coming around, but it's a pain in the ass for me because I gotta clean up the mess whenever someone new comes along. By the way, Evie's looking sick or something. Her skin is getting all wrinkly and she's getting grey hairs. Is that supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old. Yeah, so the grandma must be Evie. Evelyn. And I guess that was Lucas, fighting with whoever. The report details the symptoms that appear when the bacterium that grows inside of the E-series infects a human. Be sure to read this document thoroughly before dealing with E-series weaponized assets, hereafter referred to as mold. 
Initial infection, the mold ingests nutrients from the subject's body to propagate itself and slowly takes over cells within the body. As a side effect of this, the infected subject gains remarkable regenerative abilities. During experiments, we removed arms and legs from the subjects and found that they were able to go up the amputated limbs in a matter of minutes. Mid-stage infection. Once the mold reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become in tune with those of the E-series asset. The subject starts to hear things and experience hallucinations and soon comes under complete control of the E-series asset. If this state continues, the host will lose all sense of ego. Complete infection. After every cell in the body has been taken over by the mold, the subject begins to lose their human form. Physical mutations differ from case to case, but all result in him or her acquiring incredible physical strength. Containing a subject at this stage would be extremely difficult. Okay. Five minutes after dose, vomiting. E necrotoxin, E series dosage test. In the eye? What the hell? Ten minutes after dose, death. Twelve minutes after dose, cell cal calcification. That's not a baby. E necrotoxin. Oh, that's the same text, but it now makes sense that we saw on the boat. We couldn't read. Destroy cells of any subject based on the E series bioweapon model, used only for disposal of E series assets. The toxin must first be stimulated before used. Do this by placing a sample of E series cells into the necrotoxin container. I guess then they pump it through the baby or something. That's kinda effed up. E necrotoxin, a special serum for disposing of E series test subjects. It could destroy Evelyn if injected into her. Like, this is a. 10 minutes of exposition dump. This project was instigated in 2000 as one of several concepts for the company's next bus, next generation experimental battlefield superiority initiative. Working with technical assistance from HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants and mass with minimal direct contact, next bus was later folded and all its assets diverted to this project. What makes this project markedly different from conventional weapons is its ability to turn enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile elements into willing servants. Since this effectively eliminates the costs of not only POW handling, prisoner of war, but also combat itself, it's no wonder we had the, and even, mm, organization chomping at the bit to get on board. The project would never have existed were it not for the discovery in Redacted of Redacted, the remarkably progressed Vic and evolution fungus that we commonly term the mutamycid. The fabrication method for each bioweapon was to be introduce the mutamycid genome to a pre-stage 4 human embryo, what the hell, and perform cultivation in a controlled environment over a period of 38 to 40 weeks. The resultant organisms were referred to as candidate specimens and created based on usability from the practical and faulty, I guess, to the perfect. Series A through D to the perfected E series. Ah, in practical and faulty series A through D to the perfected E series. A common appearance was selected for the bioweapons that of a roughly 10 year old girl to ensure ease of blending in with urban refugee populations. The first E series specimen named Evelyn has proven capable of secreting the mutamycid reducted from the tissue at will. It is also of note that Evelyn's mutamycid imposes a profound control of her body and mind when introduced into a host organism. We still have a lot to learn about the mechanism by which Evelyn achieves and maintains this control, but the working theory is that the vector is similar to the auto-induced pheromones used for quorum sensing in pseudomonas bacteria. What the hell are they even talking about? Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages, the first of which is hallucination. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see images of Evelyn, though she is not in fact there, and even hear her voice, which is inaudible to anyone else. Auditions with infected subjects throughout the stages of infection revealed that at first the phantom Evelyn appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. Or assistance. 
As time progresses, he begins making more and more extreme demands, in use, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. The psychological shock this induces helps to break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect, and by the time mental control is achieved, the mutamycid infection has progressed throughout the body cells, so the body reducted. What could be reducted there? Like, is there more exposition? More exposition, nice. Evelyn's functions also include the ability to form organisms from mycelia, the fungal filaments. The term organism is used loosely here. Strictly speaking, they are superorganisms formed of countless mycelia. What's important though is that they exhibit a strong survival instinct and will defend themselves ferociously with the slightest provocation. Their fungal toughness and remarkable strength give them significant battlefield potential. The researchers have been calling these superorganisms the molded, made of mold and also molded as in shaped. The name has a certain elegance to it. For the treatment of accidental infections, performing reducted on samples of Evelyn's body tissue produces a unique fungicidal serum. Administering the serum to an infected subject will cause the mycelia to calcify, but if the subject cells are already largely invaded, the serum will be fatal. Since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is therefore disposal of infected subjects rather than a cure. In exploring the serum's potential, we found that subjecting it to reducted would enhance its effects to extreme potency, becoming a compound we now call E-necrotoxin, which reducted in even tiny amounts. What's been interesting to observe in Evelyn's behavior is her obsession with the concept of family. In experiments, we found on multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she were really their daughter. What, why did she settle upon family as the theme for her mental control? This is just speculation, but it would be that she instinctively understands that the family unit is better suited to blending into social groups than a lone girl. I think it's because uh, mushrooms are like a single mind for a whole colony. On the other hand, well, a sentimental sort might suggest that she's making up for a perceived lack of luck, love in her quarantined upbringing, a parent, a parent's love. Okay. Well, actually, my theory... <laughs> okay, you know what? This is getting too long. I know I'm probably gonna regret this, but I'm gonna make a cut here. Uh, thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time on Resident Evil.